Hello, my beloved students. Good day to all of you. Today is the first day of the week. It's a Sunday and the 26th of April, 2020. Before I'm going to proceed to our main topic for today, let me commend the following students who try their best in doing the given task, which started last April 19 to April 23, the whole week last week. And Miss Rowena is uh, very happy of uh, the following students. And uh, first of all, I would like to announce the first two boys in grade 4A and the other one is in grade 4B who completed the given task. Awesome boys, wonderful. Thank you so much to Muhammad Kamran of 4A and Omar of 4B. And from the bottom of my heart, I would like to say thank you to your very supportive uh, parents. And uh, other students also has, uh, or they have started doing their uh, given tasks. And I would like also to commend them. So they are the following. I would like to start from grade 4A. So other students from grade 4A are, I would start from Ahmed Bilal. Ahmed Bilal, good job. You just uh, need to submit one output which is about your homework on page 44 of your student's workbook. And uh, Muhammad Hamza, thank you also Muhammad Hamza, because you only miss one and I know you will soon be completing this as your mom has communicated with me through class dojo that uh, you need to complete all the given tasks and uh, what you miss is only the homework in your student's workbook on page 44 and uh, safe you submitted only three outputs and you still need to do your descriptive composition write the spelling list one in your english notebook and use them into sentences, all the given words. And then you need to answer the comprehension questions found on page 82 of your student's book. So that's all safe that uh, you need to update. Okay, I know you can do it safe. And uh, by the way, for the grammar quiz about complex uh, sentence, I'll be sending your mark that you've got in your respective class to Joe. Just wait, children, and uh, I will do that. And uh, from 4B, I would like to commend the other students, and they are to start with. Uh, Arman, you need to submit your vocab worksheet, the comprehension, questions found on page 82 of your student's book and the uh, homework in your student's workbook pages 44 and 45. And another is uh, Judy. Judy, you need to submit your vocabulary worksheet, your comprehension in uh, student's book page uh, 82 and your homework in your student's workbook, pages 44 and 45. And uh, Maliha, you need to submit your spelling list one, then use the words in the sentences, write them in your English notebook. And the uh, comprehension questions on page 82 of your student's uh, book, and then your homework, in your student's workbook, pages 44 and 45. And uh, another very good girl, Nabiha. You miss only one, 
the comprehension questions on page 82 of your student's book. And uh, Safa, I know you can do all those outputs. Uh, Safa, knowing you, you're also very smart in English. So please do the following. Vocabulary worksheet, your descriptive composition, your sentences using the spelling list one words, and your homework in a student's workbook pages 44 and 45. By the way, children, as I have announced at the start of uh, term three, I told you, I have been repeating this for many times, that for term three, we have the continuous assessment. So that's why since last April 19, we have started this uh, everyday uh, lesson through this uh, video presentation. And uh, we're the same. I am doing my part. I have been trying my best as your English teacher. And please do your part also as my students. You want me to be happy, right? Or you want me to cry? Yes, I know that uh, you love Miss Rowena and I love you too. So you must do the following given tasks. And I'm calling the attention of uh, the other students of uh, whom you did not even uh, pass or submit even just one or two worksheets. So please, I'm challenging you to do the given worksheets. You have uh, some quizzes, the reading aloud, which is graded, the homeworks, everything. It's just like we have our normal uh, school only uh, I'm here in school and you're at home so we are just having this kind of uh, learning but I know it would still help you am I right okay so to start with our lesson for today I would like to have you look on this so our week will start once again with writing. So our lesson is about news report. And to start with, we have the following objectives. Number one, to identify the four essential steps in writing a news report. And the second objective is to write a news report. Okay, so where can we read or hear news? So definitely we can hear or read news from the following sources. TV broadcasts, newspapers, magazines, or websites. So now I'm going to share with you the four steps in writing a news report. Step one, planning. So in your planning, you have to write notes about the following. The W's questions. So you have first, who was involved? What happened? When did it happen? Where did it happen? And why did it happen? Then you have to write a heading for your report. Take note. Is it interesting? Will it capture the reader's interest? You know, children, by just having that uh, very captivating heading of your report, then the readers would be very interested and excited to read more. Next thing that you are going to do under step one is 
think about the style and tone of your report. So you have to write and uh, always remember your ideas. So you have to use formal words, do not use slang, and be brief, meaning it's just uh, a short, but uh, it's complete of uh, its details. So that's for step one. Now let's proceed to step two, writing a rough draft. So here you have to use your notes to help you write your draft of your report. Next, write an opening sentence that sets the scene and makes someone want to read on. Next, you need to organize your report into short paragraphs. So decide whether it's main and uh, supporting uh, details for each paragraph. Include a quotation if uh, you need to, and then uh, include all details. Consider your choice of words, construct sentences properly, and use punctuation correctly. Step three, revising and redrafting. So here, you have to read your rough draft loud enough to yourself and then think about whether your words help the reader to clearly imagine what you are writing about. And if you need to make changes, then do so because it would help you. And after making the changes, it's time for you to make a final version of your report, including all of the changes. Step four, presenting and uh, feedback. So now it's high time to read your report to your audience. And then don't forget to use appropriate tone and volume. So as a practice there at home, let your parents and your other siblings, if you have, to be your audience. And after that, talk about the report of the following. Are all details included? Is the report easy to follow? Is the style of the report formal and brief? You can ask uh, your parents and other members in your family to answer all those questions to help you out. And that's it for your uh, writing task, children. You have to write a report about the sea rescue, which is found in your student's book, page 90. So you're going to read that account and then make the four steps in uh, writing as your guide, okay? Don't forget, just open your student's book, page 90. So this time, I'll just do this. This is first a controlled uh, making of news report because you will have only one source as a starter of your writing task. Okay, so once again, children, I do expect that you will have to do your task, which starts today. It's the second week of uh, term three. So once again, goodbye for now. And uh, see you again tomorrow. And again and again, I love you, my dear children. And bye for now. And... Stay safe at home. Bye.